Hello everyone. Over the course of this chapter, we have seen that all our natural resources, whether it is forest and wildlife, water, coal and petroleum, or sunlight, all are essential for the survival of an individual. But excessive and indiscriminate use of these natural resources is spoiling our environment day by day. So now it's our responsibility to work on the betterment of these resources by practicing the three R's which is reduce, recycle and reuse. Let's understand these three R's one by one. The first one is reduce. The best thing we can do is use less of these natural resources by cutting down onto the practices which leads to their wastage. For example, we can reduce the wastage of electricity by switching off the lights and fans when they are not in use. Saving electricity means that we are reducing the use of coal which is used to produce electricity. We can reduce the wastage of water by repairing the leaking taps and also turning off the taps when they are not in use during the daily course. We should use the paper judiciously by using both sides of the paper. Use of public transport like bus and trains instead of car can also reduce the use of petrol. Using bicycles for nearby distance or neighborhood can also reduce the use of petrol. Using of solar cookers for cooking of food can also reduce the use of LPG. Now let's see the second R which is recycle. It means we should collect the used and discarded items such as plastic, papers, glass and metal objects and send them to their respective industries for making fresh paper, plastics, glass and metal objects. We can practice recycling by separating these items from the waste and giving it to the industries which manufacture the recycled products. The third R is re reuse. It means it is the use of already used articles again and again. For example, the plastic container in which food items like tea leaves, pickles or sweets are bought, these can be reused to store some other things of kitchen and household. Usually, we buy new improved item even if the one we have can be repaired. For example, we should try to get our mobile phones re repaired when required instead of throwing and getting the new ones. By practicing these three rules generously, we can, not, we can not only save our natural resources, but we can pass these natural resources to our future generations also. So, throughout this chapter, we have seen what are natural resources, their management and their importance in our life. So, it is our responsibility to take care of these natural resources and use them wisely. So, I would sum up this chapter with the beautiful quote of John Sawhill which states, Society is defined not only by what it creates, but what it refuses to destroy.